to Columbia Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com. Cougar Athletics are brought to you by Best Western Columbia Inn, KMIZ ABC 17, MFA Oil, Break Time, Jiffy Lube, and Big O Tires, Peak Performance, Columbia College Bookstore, Betts Jewelers, and N.H. Shepherds Distributing Company. Cougar Athletics broadcasts are produced for Cougar fans by the Columbia College Athletic Department. We now take you to today's Cougar broadcast. Good evening and welcome to Columbia Lady Cougar Basketball Action here this evening. Jeff Johnson, glad to be alongside with you as the Lady Cougars open AMC conference play here tonight, taking on the Hornets of Harris Stowe State College. Well, this should be a good matchup here this evening. These two ball clubs squared off in the conference championship game. Last year it was Harris Stowe coming in and getting the win over the Lady Cougars last year advancing to the national tournament with the automatic bid and a rematch coming up here this evening in this one here at the arena of the Southwell Complex. Cougars come in with a record of 5-10, and 10, coming off that tough loss to the University of the Cumberlands on Saturday. Harris Stowe, in the meantime, comes in with a record of 9-6. and six. They are receiving votes in the NAIA Top 25 poll. A very good team. They've played a tough schedule, and we expect a good one here tonight. We did have a chance earlier tonight to catch up with head coach Mike Davis and get his thoughts on this ball club, what it would take to get a win against Harris Stowe. So let's go to that interview as head coach Mike Davis tells us what it's going to take to get a win over the Hornets and hopefully start conference play with a record of 1-0. Here before the game with head coach Mike Davis, coach starting conference play tonight and uh, kind of a second season starting over tonight. Hey, we have uh, done our best to forget about what's happened before. And, uh, you know, we really talked about that after the last ball game. It's 0-0 right now. Let's go uh, finish this uh, season the way we want to. You get a Harris Stowe team uh, very tough in here tonight. Uh, they've got a 9-7 and seven record. They've played a, a pretty tough non-conference schedule as well. And, of course, they had a, a nice run last year, went to the national tournament. And uh, they're going to be tested early in conference play. You know, they're actually 9-6 and six is what they are right now. Um, had a couple of very good wins. Uh, uh, went over Oklahoma City down there, and a very good win over Emporia State out in Emporia, Kansas. So they've had some quality wins in there. Actually, their losses have all come to very good ball clubs as well. Um, you know, they were picked second in the preseason in our conference behind us, but they've actually uh, outperformed us by a lot here in uh, the first semester. And I mean, right now they would be the team uh, you'd have to pick going into conference play to beat. A uh, very, very good player, Chanel Ross, at the point guard spot. Um, one of the better players in the nation. I mean, she really is, and I think that'll be a fun matchup for our guards. And talk about her a little bit. I think looking at some stats earlier, what leading there in the tops of the nation in some steals and assists, and a pretty dynamic player. Oh, extremely dynamic. Uh, you know, averaging about 18 a ball game, but really so much of what she does is, is off of her defense and a great dribble penetrator, and she's a fun kid to watch. She's a good player. Talk about your ball club a little bit. Had a tough one here uh, over the weekend, and uh, you haven't had much time to think about it since then. Uh, what are your thoughts, how the practice has been since then? Well, we've spent zero time thinking about it. You know, the past is past with this group, and that's really, I think, the best way for us to handle it. Um, you know, for, for us right now, it's looking ahead. That's what we have tonight, and, uh, you know, we need to go play good basketball. I think uh, sometimes in the past we've carried that last game over more than we needed to, and uh, it's affected how we played in that ball game. You know, I think tonight we just go out, we play, we handle the basketball, shoot the ball better and uh, rebound better, and all those things will fall into place. Kind of nice to have your, your home uh, conference opener at home always. Well, sure. It's great to be here, and, uh, you know, we wish the students were back on campus, but, uh, you know, we're starting a week later this year, actually, than last season, so our students won't be here till next week. Uh, but that's just how it is, and uh, we're very, very happy to be back here. Coach, let's go out and get a win here tonight, start conference play 1-0, and we'll talk to you afterwards. Sounds good. Thank you. That was head coach Mike Davis and his thoughts about this game coming into tonight's conference opener. The Cougars 5-10 and lost to the University of Cumberland's on Saturday, 76-63. Play begins now. Harris Stowe tonight. Then they are on the road Saturday as they'll be at Missouri Baptist for a 2 o'clock start against the Lady Spartans. And we'll have that for you right here on ColumbiaCougars.com. So we expect uh, a great matchup. Should be a lot of fun. Chanel Ross, one of the uh, top players uh, in the country on this Harris Stowe ball club. She's kind of the leader of this team. They are coming off a big win. They beat Indiana University Northwest. On Saturday, 118-18, uh, they've had some very nice wins. They took on number 7 Emporia State. They won 58-51. They beat the number 12 team at the time, Oklahoma City, 
by the score of 56 to 49, which was a very tough ball game. So they've played tough competition, and we expect a good one here tonight at the arena of the Southwell Complex. Of course, as Mike Davis told you, the students not back from school yet. They will not be back until next week. So no students here tonight, but hopefully we can get them back here next week for some games and get this place rocking and rolling as we get set. For conference play, not only on the ladies' side, but, hey, the men will get underway with conference play coming up here very soon as well. They will play on Thursday night. They will also take on this Harris Stowe Ball Club, and we'll have it for you right here on ColumbiaCougars.com. So it should be a lot of fun here the next couple of nights as conference play, the American Midwest Conference, gets underway on the ladies' and the men's side. And all of the action can be heard all season long right here on Columbia Cougars. Dot com. Well, the fans will come to their feet for the national anthem. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll give you the starting lineups, and we'll be ready to roll right after this. Vaughn, turn to the team that brings you coverage whenever and wherever you want. KOMU Sports. Tune in to KOMU News at 6 and 10 for the latest sports highlights, and wrap up the week with the KOMU Sports Show Sundays at 10:25. Log on to KOMU.com for video highlights and interactive polls. Get sports news when you want it with KOMU Mobile. Get alerts direct to you with KOMU Mobile Message. KOMU Sports. Sports coverage you can count on. Be a real balancing act, can it? Careers, kids, mortgages. And the more things are up in the air, the more you want them under control. That's where Shelter Insurance comes in. We insure your car, home, life, and peace of mind. We offer competitive rates to take care of the business so you can concentrate on something more important, enjoying your life. Interested? Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. The Cougars remind you that a winner always uses a designated driver or volunteers to be one. Be a good sport. Keep our roads safe. Always put safe driving at the top of your lineup. A message from the Columbia Cougars, Budweiser, and N.H. Shepherds Distributing Company. You are listening to Columbia Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com. Follow the Cougars all season long by logging on to ColumbiaCougars.com. Get results, highlights, statistics, player information, and all the latest Cougar news. Shop for great Cougar gear at ColumbiaCougars.com. Your voice of Cougar Athletics, your source for everything you need to know about the Cougars. ColumbiaCougars.com. Get the starting lineups here tonight for Harris Stone, coached by Chris Lewis. They are 9-7 and seven coming in. At one guard, Dion Jackson out of Mineral, Mineral Area Community College. Another guard, the All-American, Chanel Ross, senior out of Philadelphia, played at State Fair Community College. In the middle, Carmen Weaver, senior out of St. Louis. Another forward, Sherry Jones out of St. Louis, Ren Lake Community College. And Rhonda Chapman out of Chicago, played at South Suburban. Community College. For the Lady Cougars, they come in with a record of 5-10, and ten, trying to get conference play started with a winning note. Six-foot senior out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Megan Archuleta, 12 points a game. The guard, 9 points a game, 5-6 sophomore out of Boonville, Whitney Davis. Her running mate, a good one, 5-6 sophomore out of Mexico, Whitney Wooderman, averaging 11 points a game. In the middle, Rachel Oswald, six-foot sophomore out of Boonville, averaging 14 points, eight rebounds. The contest, and rounding out the starting five, Keishel Paul, 12 points, four rebounds, a junior out of New Orleans, and we expect a good game out of her here tonight. Be a fun matchup with her and Chanel Ross here tonight. So those are your starting lineups here tonight as we get set for this one. The officials are set. We're just about ready to go. And this one, a reminder, we've got men's action coming up here on Thursday night, 7 o'clock start. They'll take on Harris Stowe. All the action can be heard on ColumbiaCougars.com. And then on Saturday, we've got a doubleheader for you. 2 o'clock, the ladies taking on Missouri Baptist. And then the men will get underway at 4 o'clock in that contest. Lady Cougars going right to left to start it as Oswald will jump it up against Jones here tonight. And we're ready to roll in this one. Oswald will jump it up. The tip will be controlled. Harris 
Stewart Stowe nearly over and back to start it. No call. Ross will have it out front. Right side with it now is Jackson. Holds it high down low. It's tipped away, and Whitney Davis can watch it go out of bounds, and the Cougars will keep it. So 19:48, just underway in this one. The Cougars will have it. Some full quarter pressure applied here by Harris Stowe. Davis has it. Cross-court pass to Oswald. Now Whitman in the middle. Closely guarded by Ross. Double team steps through it. Archuleta's got it down the lane. Pull up 16-footer short. Rebound pull out of there by Dion Jackson of Harris Stone. And we go the other way. Just underway in this one. No score. Ross with it. No look pass down low to Jackson. In and out of her hands. And the other way we go. Quick pass by Ross. We told you she's very quick. Good player. Here we go. Widom in the other way. Right wing with it. We'll stop, wait for her teammates. Gives it off to Wendy Davis on the right wing. Davis has it now to Keyshell Paul. Left side, 16 footer, and it's good. So Keyshell Paul gets the first points of the game. And the Cougars grab an early 2 0 lead. Now a steal as Paul gets it. Wrap around to Archuleta. Lays it up and in, and the Cougars lead it. 4 0 as the Cougars will apply the full court pressure. Ross will have it in the backcourt. She'll clear everybody out as she's. Guarded by Whitman, and she wants to bring it up herself. 4 nothing. the Cougars lead it. Behind the back, Gribble Ross gets it across the timeline, down the lane, stops, passes it off. Jackson, 13-footer right elbow, up no good. Archuleta with a rebound. Then she throws it away, right to Ross. Pull up three ball, left side. Off the board, no good. Oswald fights for the rebound, and we got a whistle and a jump ball. And the arrow in favor of Harris Stone. 18.35 left. will have it. Whittem in the other way. They have numbers if they want it. Stutter step Whittleman down the lane. Stops down to Oswald. Back to Davis down the lane. Left hand. Leaves it off. Archuleta wide open. Lays it up and in. Great look from Whitney Davis. And the Cougars out to a 6 nothing lead. Quick outlet pass to Ross across the timeline. Guarded by Whitney Whittleman. And then she throws it away. Oswald will step in the passing lane. Pick it off. She wants to run with it. Does. Now we will stop out front. Nearly a reach on Ross. Ball baseline. Drives. Hangs. Scoop shot, missed it short. Rebound pulled out of there by Harris Stowe. They may throw it away. Can Ross track it down? No. It'll get out of bounds, and the Cougars will get it. Two minutes gone by. Cougars lead it 6 nothing. So a quick start here to this one. As the Cougars jump out in front, 6 nothing. Davis will have it. We haven't seen the Cougars press a whole lot, but they have tonight. Oswald baseline. Whitteman, open three ball right side. Missed it. And it hits the net up top, and we go the other way. She had a wide open look, though. Good look. 6 nothing. Lady Cougars lead it. Harris Stowe will have it. Full length of the floor to go. It's tipped out of bounds. 17-52 left the play here in the first half. Cougars with an early 6 nothing lead. Bounce to Weaver. They'll bring it across. Pitching a shutout thus far. Jackson down the lane. Wrap around pass, down low, scoop shot missed by Weaver. Ross gets it back, tipped out of bounds, and Harris Stone will keep it with 17-39 left to play here in the first half, and the Cougars leading at 6 nothing. Substitution, Erica Lee will check in. Also, Marvis Jackson and Erica Anderson. Let's see what the score is. Well, I'm sure a broadcaster's nightmare as always. Jackson gets it. Baseline shot won't go, and Oswald with the rebound. Here come the Cougars, who lead it 6-0. Oswald, left side, pull up three ball, left wing, short, rebound, tip, right into the hands of Paul. She misses the putback, right for the rebound, and out of there with it is Harris Snow. So the other way we go. 6 nothing Cougars, 17-15 left to play here in the first half. Right side, Anderson with it, guarded by Paul. Baseline. Wrap around to Ross. Ball is loose. Whitteman wanted the charge. Didn't get it. The other way. Davis across. Leaves it off to Whitteman on the right wing. Cougars lead it 6 0. Whitteman picks up her dribble. Baseline Oswald with it. She holds it high. Dribbles out front down to Archuleta. Shot clock at 15. Davis left wing. Drives in the lane. Dumps it. Paul. Open three ball. Left wing. You betcha. Keep shell ball for three. And the Cougars lead it 9 0. Ross across with it down the lane to the glass, lays it up and in. So Chanel Ross breaks the scoring drought for Harris Stowe. They're on the board. It's 9-2. to two. Whitteman right side, open three, doesn't take it. Oswald down low, they feed it to her on the block. Turnaround shot, 
is short. Ross with a rebound. Boy, the pace is quick here tonight. Quick outlet to Lee. She thought about the three, but I didn't take it. Leaves it off to Ross out front. Nine to two. Cougars lead it by seven. Nearly four minutes gone by here in the first half. Right side, Ross with it. On top. With it now is Lee. Feeds it to Anderson. Shot clock at seven. Down the lane and a whistle and a foul with six on the shot clock. Foul on Whitney Davis, her first, team's first, and to the line will go Erica Anderson. Nine to two. The other way is up and no good by Anderson. We've got another one coming here with 16.02 left. Cougars lead it here, nine to two. Next free throw on the way is good. So Anderson gets one out of two. 9-3, Cougars with a six-point lead. 15-55 left to play here in the first half. Davis on the right wing. In the corner now to Whitteman. Back to Davis. Open three ball, right side. Too strong. Archuleta fights for the rebound. Can she tip it alive? No. Now Whitteman with an near steal, but Harris still will grab it back. As 54 comes away with it. Now out to Marvis Jackson. Gives it off to Ross. Across with it. She may go coast to coast. She does. To the glass. Lays it up and in. Nearly falling down, but... Got it to go. She's got four, and it's 9-5, Columbia by four. The base is quick here tonight. Hall left wing with it on top, Archuleta. 17-footer from the circle. Got it. Archuleta with six early points. 11-5, Cougars lead it by six. Outlet to Ross, tipped away by Whitman, but Ross will get it back. Heavy pressure on Ross every time she gets the basketball. Cross-court pass now over to Lee. We're seeing two quick teams get at it here tonight. Ross out front, left side now Anderson. Shot clock at 14, now 13. On the left wing, once it doesn't get it, Anderson, ball is tipped, and Paul will come away with it for the Cougars. Another steal for Columbia. Davis quickly across Whitteman, right side, baseline. Oswald open, 13-footer, missed it. Archuleta, though, will track it down on the weak side. Reset the shot clock. New look. Michelle Paul tried to go into the lane. Now Whitteman has it. Down low Oswald on the block. Rolls the double team, Whitteman, three ball, right wing, and she got it, Whitney. Whitteman for three. And the Cougars lead it by nine, 14 to five, hitting on all cylinders here in the early going. Ross in the backcourt, guarded by Whitteman. 14 to five, Cougars lead it by nine. Next side with it is Lee, launches a deep, deep three, off the mark, bad. Ross with a rebound, falls down, wants to get a timeout, can't get it. Anderson's got it to the glass, counted and a foul. Erica Anderson with 14.07 left. Ross fell down. Oswald will pick up the foul. Her first, team's second. Davis will check in. Also, Sherry Jones will check back in. 14.07, Columbia leads it by seven. One out of two at the line this far tonight. Free throw on the way is good. 14 to 8. Cougars with a six point lead. This has it now. Whitman on the right wing. Dribbles out front as we're under the 14 minute mark. All on the right wing. Dribbles out top. Shot clock at 13, now 12. Davis tried to go to. Stolen away the other way, Ross. Stolen away by Whitney Davis. And she got a hand in there and stripped it. The other way we go. And Davis's pass is tipped. Near foul out front. No call. Ball loose on the floor. And Anderson comes away with it. Three on one for Harris Stowe. Ross. Bounce pass. Wide open. Lay it up and in by Chandra Davis. And we'll get a 30-second timeout on the floor. Columbia will take a quick break. Cougars lead it by four, 14-10. Back after this, this is Cougar Basketball, ColumbiaCougars.com. Wouldn't you like to be able to provide for your family every month, even if you weren't around? That's precisely why Kansas City Life created a monthly benefit rider for universal life coverage. In addition to your policy's lump sum payout, this rider provides extra cash to your loved ones every month, supporting them just as you would if you were still here. Talk to your Kansas City Life agent today about the new monthly benefit rider. 
46 left to play here in the first half. Cougars lead it 14 to 10. A quick start for the Cougars here in this one tonight. Cougars lead it by four. 13, 26 left to play here in the first half. Cougars will have the basketball. Harris Stowe will not apply any pressure as we get back at it. Left side, Keyshell Paul with it. Cross court pass, Whitney Davis on the right wing. Davis has it. Picks up her dribble, trapped. Out front now is Whitteman down the lane. Scoop shot will not go, but a whistle and a foul as she drives down the lane. Be a foul on Chandra Davis, her first. Davis first. Whitney Whitteman will go to the line here and shoot two. Whitteman a good free throw shooter on the year, 76% on the year. The first one is good. Jeff Johnson alongside Mr. Peyton Johnson, Parker Johnson in attendance here tonight. J.C. Thornsbury and Jessica James will check in for the first time as Archuleta will grab a quick breather. Jessica James, the freshman, along with Jenny Rose, the sophomore, and Emily Smith. Sophomore for Whitteman, and her free throw is off the mark. So Whitteman gets one out of two. Cougars lead it by 5-15-10. The other way with it is Anderson. Takes it to the left wing. Down low, feeds it, gets it right back, pull up lane, shot good. Nice little give and go to Erica Anderson. And it's a three-point Cougar lead at 15 to 12. 1245 left to play here in the first half. Ball on the right side. Cross court pass to Thornsbury. Now left side, Whitney Whitteman. Holds it high. Whitteman with it. Ball in the corner. Open three doesn't take it. It's tipped out of bounds, and the Cougars will keep it 14 on the shot clock. 12.36 on the game clock as the Cougars lead it by 3, 15 to 12. Scott now Whitteman has it. Have to be aware of the shot clock. It's at 12, now 11. Thornsbury, left side, bounce passes it to Paul. All alone on the block, lost the basketball the other way we go. Two on one break. Anderson down the lane, kicks it, open to three ball on the way. Davis, got it. Kendra Davis has got five, and just like that, we're tied at 15. So the Cougars, who once led by nine, now tied at 15. Oswald out front. Right side, Whitney Whitteman with a basketball with 12.05 left to play here in the first half. Ball out front now, Whitteman, and that'll be over and back as she'll touch it. Over and back. Whitney Davis will check in. Keyshell Paul will grab a breather. 12.02 left. We're tied at 15. Marvis Jackson also will check back in. Marvis Jackson, a junior for Harris Stowe out of Peoria, Illinois. And Peyton Johnson, I do believe. Top of it, Chanel Ross. Guarded by Whitteman. Double team left side now with him is Anderson. She'll drive down the lane. Dumps it off. Anderson drives. Kick it out, travel. You bet your turnover. Gives it back to the Cougars with 11.48 to play here in the first half. We're tied at 15. Pace very quick here in this one. Davis cross with it. Right side, Whitney Whitteman. It's tipped out of bounds. And a quick timeout on the floor. Harris still will get a timeout. We're tied at 15. Back after this, ColumbiaCougar.com. everywhere, but you just can't find the perfect fit. Perfect Woodworking is your answer. Perfect Woodworking can build the perfect custom piece, the perfect cabinet, the perfect bookcase, the perfect entertainment center. Perfect Woodworking will build you a custom handmade piece that is exactly what you want. Make it perfect. Perfect Woodworking. 573-499-1353. Quick timeout by Harris Stowe. Cougars and uh, Lady Hornets tied at 15. 11.42 left. Tied at 15. Ball is loose on the floor. Anderson's got it. She'll bring it across the timeline. Right side with it is Weaver. Pull up 13-footer off the mark. No good. Thornsbury fights for the rebound. It's tipped out of bounds, and it will be kept by Harris Stowe. I think Mike Davis might have wanted to. Over the back call down there, but he won't get it with 11.31 left. Wide open three on the way. Right side. Off the mark by Weaver. The Cougars catch a break there. Weaver was wide open for that three, but it would not go. Wait a minute out front. Oswald. Left side. Thornsbury with it. And 
said she shuffled her feet. With a turnover, we'll give it back to Harris Stowe with 11.15 left to play. Here in the first half, Ross out front. Tied at 15. Ross out front, left side now, deep three on the way. Lee, that one's off the mark, but Anderson fights for the rebound and gets it. Back to Ross out front. 11 minutes to play here in the first half. We're tied at 15. Jackson baseline turns, looks, gives it to Anderson. Right side, eight footer, got it. Good ball movement that time. By Harris Stowe and Peyton, pretty good ball movement around the perimeter. 17-15, yeah. a two-point lead for Harris Stowe. Their first lead of the night. Jackson with a steal. Ross is going to have it all the way down the lane. Lays it up and in. Chanel Ross. And now Harris Stowe has extended their lead to 4, 19-15. The other way now the Cougars have it. Thornsbury, open three. Will they get down? No. Ross with the rebound. Here comes Harris Stowe. You know they're going to want to run with it. Bounce pass. Off and lays it up and in. Carmen Weaver. And now just like that, it's 21-15, a six-point Harris Stowe lead. And the Cougars need a bucket here. And a whistle and a reach foul on Chanel Ross with 10-10 left to play. So Ross will pick up her first foul of the night. Archuleta, DeVita Moore. And also... Keyshell Paul will check back in with 10-10 left. 21-15 left in the first half. Cougars trail it by six. With this out front, drives right side, gives it to Paul. Boy, a lot of reaching going on, but no whistle on that one. Paul has it, and she's going to Did she get a timeout. Yes, she did. She got a timeout. 9.59 to play first half. Quick break. Back right after this. Ways to get from point A to point B. Van, sedan, sports car, muscle car, pickup. And Shelter Insurance has covered plenty of miles in cars and drivers since 1946. With a combination of competitive rates, helpful agents, and speedy claim service. Truth is, we like knowing we have you covered. So you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today at shelterinsurance.com. Have you checked out the Cougars in person? Experience Cougar action up close and personal? What an event. Making your experience at Cougar event special are many people, including the Sunrise Optimist. The Cougar Athletic Department would like to thank the Sunrise Optimist Club for managing concessions and ticket operations at Columbia College. Optimist clubs across North America conduct over 55,000 community and youth-oriented projects directly impacting 5 million youngsters annually. The Cougars and the Optimist, a real winning combination. Archuleta with a bucket. Cougars cut the lead to 21-17. Anderson with it down low. Kicks it out. Open three ball on the way. That one will be short. Thornsbury will track it down. Steps right through the double team. Two on break. Leaves it to Keisha Paul. Lays it up and in. Nicely done by Thornsbury. And it's 21-19. The lead is two now for Harris Stowe as the Cougars get a little run going here with 9-15 to play here in the first half. Ross on the right wing with it. Out top now to Weaver. Baseline with it is Jones. Back to Ross. Open three ball right wing. Missed it short. Fight for the rebound. Put up off the glass. No good by Anderson. Ball loose. Thornsbury's got it. Gets it to Archuleta and then nearly throws it away as Harris Stowe tips it out of bounds. And within nine minutes exactly to play here in the first half, it'll be Cougar basketball. They trail it 21-19. to 19. Davis will bring it up for Columbia. Double team goes to Ross in the corner. And it's a turnover to go to Harris Stowe with 8.51 left. 19 left. One point. Harris Stowe will lead a very quick pace here in this first half. As we've been back and forth, back and forth. That's left side now to Jackson. She'll launch a deep three out front. Missed it. And a whistle in and over the back. Nice shot by Thornsbury to block out. Whistle on Davis, her second. Team's third. Cougars down to 21-19. Archuleta in the corner to Thornsbury. Fakes, drives baseline, double teamed with it. Goes cross court to Davis. It's tipped away. Ross has got it. Look at her turn on the speed down the lane. She'll get fouled. Will they count the basket? No, out of bounds. Whitney Davis will pick up the foul, her second. 
Hits third. Out of bounds to Harris Stowe. In the corner. Open three on the way, and that one is good. Wide open, Davis. Well, you've got to be aware of these Harris Stowe three-point shooters as they can drain them. They lead it by five, 24-19. Letter right side, now to Paul. Baseline, Thornsbury, open three ball, missed it, but rebound to Vita Moore. Working hard now, gives it to Archuleta. It's tipped from behind and out of bounds. 8.02 on the clock. Anderson and Weaver will check back in for Harris Stowe. Cougars, trail it by five, 24-19. Guards out front to Whitney Davis. Ball now Archuleta, who nearly traveled with it. Davis feeds it to DeVita Moore. Double team out to Archuleta, 18-footer out front, wide open. Won't go, Ross with a rebound. Nice box out down low by Anderson for Harris Stowe. Dumps it off Anderson, fakes, pull up, 8-footer left side. Got it, boy, nice little give there by Anderson. She's had a fine game already. That's her 10th point of the night. Whitteman will check in next dead ball. 7.35 left first half. Cougars down 7, 26-19. Right side, Davis steps through, feeds Moore on the block, brought it down, and a whistle and a foul. Before the shot, it'll be out of bounds. It'll be on Jones, her first, team's fourth. Woodman and Oswald checking back in. Cougars trail it here by seven. Up to Oswald. Double team down low, lost it. Whitteman will fight for it. It's going to be out of bounds, and it'll go to Harris Stowe. 7.23 left. Out of bounds to Harris Stowe. They lead it by 7, 26-19. Some pressure in the backcourt. Weaver will have it. Guarded by Whitney Davis. Weaver will bring it up. Good pressure out front. Davis picks up her third foul. So Whitney Davis trying to get a reach. We'll pick up her third with 7.15. But I don't think Mike Davis is very happy about that. Thornsbury will come in. Davis is going to have to come out. 26-19 lead for Harris Stowe. And Davis is probably going to have to sit out for the rest of the half. Right side, Weaver. Baseline, Ross. Did she travel? Yep. She shuffled the feet. A little too quick down there. Get it back down seven. Cougars have been up by as many as nine here tonight. As we go the other way, Whitteman all alone. Thornsbury on the block, fakes up off the glass, kiss it good. Defensive breakdown there. Thornsbury gets it to go. That's the lead to five. 26 21. The other way, Anderson with it. On top is Weaver. Guarded by Thornsbury. 6 44 to play here in the first half. Baseline Ross, guarded by Whitteman, 15 on the shot clock, picks up the dribble. Trap, right side with it is Lee, and she stepped out of bounds. On the sideline as she was trapped, 6.34 left. Down five, the Cougars get the ball back. See if the Cougars can cut into that lead a little bit more. Left side, Archuleta. Baseline, Thornsbury, she was open momentarily, but not enough to get that three ball shot. Archuleta in the circle, down the lane. Open Oswald, baseline 11 footer, short. Rebound out of there by Chapman. Harris Stowe will run. Here comes Weaver, dumps it off to Anderson, lays it up and in. Boy, Harris Stowe runs the floor well. Anderson's got 12, and it's a seven point lead again for Harris Stowe, 28 21. Baseline Thornsbury with it. Looks to get it to Archuleta. She was open momentarily, doesn't get it to her. Baseline. Ball drives, hangs, stripped, and a whistle and a foul. Who's this one on? Get Anderson for a reach. Her first team's fifth. Out of bounds to Columbia. 5.56 left. Jackson will check back in for Harris Stowe. Del Paul will inbound. There's a screen. Winneman baseline with it. Back on top now, Archuleta. Cougars down 7, 28 21. Ball out front. Double team. Whitteman all alone, Oswald on the block, nice give, and it's up and in. Rachel Oswald, a nice give. Whitteman, 28-23, five-point lead. Harris Stone, five and a half to play. Ross open three, left wing, you betcha. Cannot leave her open. That's nine. 
31-23. There's still with an eight-point lead. Archuleta out front. Baseline, Thornsbury. Brings it out front. Trapped with it. Baseline now, Archuleta. Archuleta to Thornsbury. Down low, Oswald all alone on the block. Lays it up and in. Good ball movement again by the Cougars. Find an opening. 31-25. Cougars down six. Stoll will slow it down just a bit as Weaver will bring it up. Carter on the left side, down low, they go to Weaver. Tried to go to Ross, baseline, trapped with it. Now drives into the lane, wraparound pass. Too hot to handle, it's going to go to the Cougars. Try a little wraparound pass to Jones. Ross is so quick. 31-25, it's a six-point air still lead. Oswald, baseline. And it's stolen away. She tried to go to Paul, and Ross got a hand on it. Ross, the point guard, and she's a good one. Left side. Back dribble off the screen from Jackson. Wanted to roll, give and go, doesn't get it. Behind the back pass to Weaver. Baseline, shot clock at 15. Deep three on the way. The lefty, got it. Wow, Carmen Weaver. And a timeout on the floor. 4-1, 4-12, left to play here in the first half. Harris still with a nine-point lead, 34-25. We're back after this on ColumbiaCougars.com. Cougar fans are the best fans around. So when you're at the game, please act and drink responsibly. You'll be joining 93% of college sports fans who say their behavior is responsible when it comes to tailgating and respecting other fans. The Cougars encourage you to be a good sport. Designate a driver before you celebrate. It's part of every winning game plan. A message from your friends at Columbia College, N.A. Shepherd's Distributing Company, and Budweiser to remind you, responsibility matters. If you bought your life insurance policy 20 or 30 years ago, it probably never occurred to you that you might actually outlive its coverage. But people are living longer, healthier lives than ever before. That's why Kansas City Life Insurance created Life Pro 120. It's universal life coverage that continues for as long as you live. Ask your Kansas City Life agent about Life Pro 120 today. We're Kansas City Life. Baseline ball and a whistle and a foul. Got a blocking foul on Harris Stowe. Blocking foul number six. On Erica Lee, her first. So that will put the Cougars in the bonus on the next foul. Cougars down nine, 34-25, inbounds, three ball, Oswald from the corner, short, but Paul with a rebound in the lane, kicks it out, Witteman, Archuleta on the block, fakes up, off the glass, kiss it good, Megan Archuleta. Cougars got the lead to 34-27, as Witteman steals it, ends up in the front row, Oswald down the lane, scoop shot, missed it, Jackson with a rebound, gets it back, lays it up and in, Rachel Oswald as the Cougars are playing the Full court pressure and a near steal again. Some substitutions. Anderson and Weaver will check back in for Harris Stowe. Lead is five for the Hornets. 34-25. 3-34. Left to play here in the first half. We'll bring it up. That's the pressure from Keyshell Paul on the left side. Weaver dumps it off. Anderson lost the handle on it right to Jessica James. So the Cougars get a turnover. Whitney Winneman the other way. Half court bounces it to Paul, top of the key. Crossover dribble, pull up 17 footer. That's well short and out of bounds it goes. We go the other way. A little too short by Keyshell. Harris still will get it back with 3.06 left. 34 29 the lead. For Harris still, the pressure. Winneman tips it out of bounds again. Shadowing Chanel Ross wherever she goes. Looking to get it in, does to Weaver in the backcourt, guarded by Paul. Two quick teams tonight, and it has really showed. To the right side. With it is Jones at the free throw line, down the lane, stops, pops, missed it short, rebound. Loose and Oswald with it, goes to Whitman right side. Crossover dribble. Brings it across. Cougars running quickly. Whitteman leaves it out. Archuleta just inside the three-point stripe. It's a two, and she got it. Megan Archuleta. 
Cougars running the floor well. They cut the lead to three, 34-31. Right side with it is Weaver. On top, Anderson. Ross, left side. They leave her open for a three. She'll take it. Missed it. Paul with a rebound. Boy, she had a great look, and it wouldn't go. Keyshell Paul across the timeline. Cougars can actually tie with a three here. Whitteman right side. James wants it down low. Archuleta on top for the tie. No, missed it long, and Ross with a rebound. 205 left. Quick outlet. Driving with it is Weaver. Stops on the glass. Misses it. Jessica James with a rebound. There it still maybe looks just a bit tired right now. Would have been across with it. Crossover dribble down the lane. We'll scoop it up left handed off the glass and in. Whitney Whitteman. 34 33. The lead for Harris Stowe down to one. Inbounds to Anderson. Across with it. They've got a two on one break if they want it. Pull up seven footer in the lane. She got it. Anderson. Got it to go. 36 33. Three point error still lead. A minute and a half to play. Oswald in the lane. Double teamed in the corner to Archuleta. She drives in a block. Harris still one of the charge. They won't get it. Anderson picks up her second. One and one coming. Pretty close there. 25 left to play here in the first half. Archuleta will go to the line. The one and one opportunity here. Thornsbury will come in. James will come out. What a good free throw shooter on the year. 82%. 12 points already tonight, her average. And the first free throw is good. And another one coming. Two point here, still lead 36-34. Point game. Free throw up is good. So Archuleta gets them both. 36 35, and there's a whistle. Oh, she stepped out of bounds. Would have been a reach foul on Paul, but instead, Anderson ran out of real estate, stepped out of bounds. And the Cougars will get it back with 122 left to grab the lead this trip. This has been in the first half. Cougars have led by as many as nine, they've trailed by as many as nine. And then right side drives, dumps it off, and throws it away. Tried to go to Thornsbury on the right side. 12 left first half. Cougars down one, 36-35. Board pressure again. It has caused some problems. They'll give it to Ross and she'll clear it out. She's definitely their best ball handler. Out front by Whitteman. Boy, good matchup out there. Ross drives, dumps it off, wide open on the block, lay it up and in. Boy, nice give there. As she found Jones, the lead is 3, 38-35, under a minute to play here in the first half. Baseline, Thornsbury, out top, out top, Keyshell Paul, tracks it down, Thornsbury, Archuleta in the lane, little scoop shot, roll it up and good, Megan Archuleta. The one-point game, 38-37, quickly across Anderson, dumps it off, three ball on the way, that one is missed. By Davis, rebound, Keyshell Paul. Shot clock is off. 25 on the game clock. Cougars can hold for the final shot here in the first half. They trail it by a 1, 38-37. 15 seconds to play here in the first half. Ball out front. And 9 through the legs. Right side with 7, with 6. Will she take it herself? Spins, hangs, fires. Misses it short. Fights for her own rebound. Whitteman gets it at the buzzer. Will not go, and that'll do it. A uh, hard 20 minutes of play here in this one, a seesaw battle. Harris Stowe's led by as many as nine. The Cougars have led by as many as nine, and it's a one-point game here at the half. Harris Stowe, 38. The Cougars, 37. We'll take a break. You're listening to Lady Cougar Basketball, and you're home for the Cougars. It's ColumbiaCougars.com.
Turn the other shoulder and walk away. A message from Anheuser-Busch, N.H. Shepherd's Distributing Company, and the Columbia Cougars, reminding you to prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Are you one of these kinds of dads? When the kids came along, did you promise yourself, I never want to look back and wish I'd spend less time at the office? Get to know Shelter Insurance. We're here to help people who plan their lives around their families by offering life insurance that's built for your needs. Life insurance that's right for you and right for the people who depend on you. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today. Bambinos. Holy cow! Hi, everybody. Hey, Harry. Hey, I'm looking for a place to find me a frosty cold this evening. Well, then you got to get down here to Bambinos and abuse your noodle. Abuse my noodle? Why? Sounds like a weekend I had a Kalamazoo, Michigan one. No, Harry. At Bambinos, abuse your noodle means you can get ice cold schooners of beer with our daily happy hour special and our late night Bud Light draft beer specials for a ridiculous price. Harry, just get down here to Bambino. We've got big plates of pasta, big schooners of beer, and sports on our big screen TV. Bambino? Oh, shut up already. You had me in scooter. Just tell me where you're at. Bambino's Italian Cafe in downtown at Hit and Locust, or you can call us back for carryout or delivery at 443-4473. I'm on my way. Bye, Harry. We're at the halftime break here, and the Lady Cougars trail it by one, 38-37. Both teams shooting well in the first half. Harris Stowe, 49%, 16 out of 33. Cougars shooting 47%, 16 out of 34. Cougars turned it over 13 times. Harris Stowe, 15 times. Cougars out-rebounded by one, 18 to 17. Leading the way, Megan Archuleta, 16 points. Leading the way for Harris Stowe, Eric Anderson has 14. So we thought this would be a good game, and you betcha you it sure is here tonight. A seesaw battle between these two heavyweights here in the first conference game of the year at the Arena of the Southwell Complex. We've got a good one coming up for you on Thursday night as well, and we invite you to tune in here to ColumbiaCougars.com as the men, Bob Burchard and the boys, will be at it. Thursday night, they will have their first conference game of the year, and you can catch all the action with the one and only Tex Little right here on Columbia Cougars. Um, Harris Stoll was 4 of 13 from behind the three-point stripe. They were 2 of 3 at the free throw line. Cougars 3 of 4 at the free throw line, and 2 of 9 behind the three-point stripe as the Cougars trail it here by just one point, 38-37 in a very entertaining first half here at the arena of the Southwell Complex. We're going to have a great one here tonight. Lots of fun. We hope you keep it tuned right here and listen to this terrific Lady Cougar basketball action. We'll take a break. More after this. Looking for sports coverage you can count on? Turn to the team that brings you coverage whenever and wherever you want. KOMU Sports. Tune in to KOMU News at 6 and 10 for the latest sports highlights and wrap up the week with the KOMU Sports Show Sundays at 10 25. Log on to KOMU.com for video highlights and interactive polls. Get sports news when you want it with KOMU Mobile. Get alerts direct to you with KOMU Mobile Message. KOMU Sports. Sports coverage you can count on. This could be a real balancing act. Can it? Careers, kids, mortgages. And the more things are up in the air, the more you want them under control. That's where shelter insurance comes in. We insure your car, home, life, and of mind. We offer competitive rates to take care of the business of life so you can concentrate on something more important, enjoying your life. Interested? Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. The Cougars remind you that a winner always uses a designated driver or volunteers to be one. Be a good sport. Keep our roads safe. Always put safe driving at the top of your lineup. A message from the Columbia Cougars, Budweiser, and N.H. Shepherd's Distributing Company. You are listening to Columbia Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com. Follow the Cougars all season long by logging on to ColumbiaCougars.com. Get results, highlights, statistics, player information, and all the latest Cougar news. Shop for great Cougar gear at ColumbiaCougars.com. Your voice of Cougar Athletics. Your source for everything you need to know about the Cougars. ColumbiaCougars.com Wouldn't you like to be able to provide for your family every month? 
Even if you weren't around? That's precisely why Kansas City Life created a monthly benefit rider for universal life coverage. In addition to your policy's lump sum payout, this rider provides extra cash to your loved ones every month, supporting them just as you would if you were still here. Talk to your Kansas City Life agent today about the new monthly benefit rider.
as the men have their conference opener Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And then on Saturday, we've got a doubleheader for you. Both teams will make their way to St. Louis. We'll head to Missouri Baptist. Ladies will play at 2, and then the men at 4 o'clock. And as always, you can follow the Cougars right here on your home for the Cougars, ColumbiaCougars.com. 38-37, Harris still with a one-point lead here at the half. We'll take another break. Back with more after this on ColumbiaCougars.com. Great assist by 
Chanel Ross. Whitman, baseline three. Got it. Whitney Whitman. Her second three of the night. We're tied at 43 with 18.25 left to play here in the first half. Or in the ball game, rather. Third time. See if the Cougars can get it going here. Weaver down low. Right back to her to the glass. Blocked out of there by Oswald. Fights for the rebound. It's tipped out of bounds, and the Cougars will get it with 18-10 left. Tied at 43. 43-43 with 18 minutes to play here in the ballgame. Two minutes gone by here in the second half. Archuleta now to Davis. Fakes three. Dumps it off baseline. Oswald with it. Archuleta on the block. Lays it up. Counting in the foul. Archuleta's got 18. On a good feed from Oswald, and the Cougars lead it. 45-43 with 17.56 left. Ball was on at Jackson, her first, team's first here in the second half. Got it to the line. Three throws off the mark, so she misses it. Rebound tracked down by Keishel Paul. They say she stepped out of bounds. So to go to Harris Stowe as Anderson will check back in for the Hornets. So check back in for Harris Stowe. Forty-five, forty-three. Cougars lead it here. Two out front with it now. As Ross gives it to Anderson in the lane, brought the ball down, wrap around. Shot by Jones is off the mark, and it's out of bounds, and Harris still will keep it. 17-27 left, and we're going to get a timeout on the floor. Cougars lead it by 2, 45-43. You're listening to Lady Cougar Basketball Action on ColumbiaCougars.com. For sports coverage you can count on, turn to the team that brings you coverage whenever and wherever you want. KOMU Sports. Tune in to KOMU News at 6 and 10 for the latest sports highlights and wrap up the week with the KOMU Sports Show Sundays at 10.25. Log on to KOMU.com for video highlights and interactive polls. Get sports news when you want it with KOMU Mobile. Get alerts direct to you with KOMU Mobile Message. KOMU Sports. Sports coverage you can count on. This is your real balancing act. Can it? Careers, kids, mortgages. And the more things are up in the air, the more you want them under control. That's where Shelter Insurance comes in. We insure your car, home, life, and peace of mind. We offer competitive rates to take care of the business of life so you can concentrate on something more important, enjoying your life. Interested? Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Cougars lead it by two, had the basketball. Oswald down low out to Whitteman. Archuleta swinging around Paul, right side, pull up 14 footer, right side, missed it. Whitteman, weak side board, missed it. Ball is loose. They fight for it. It's on the floor and a jump ball. Arrow in favor of the Cougars with 17 03 to play here in the ball game. Good hustle. By the Cougars there. Lead it by two, 45 43, 17 03 left. Inbound underneath the basket. Archuleta in the corner. Skip it out front. Davis stolen away. Chanel Ross behind the back dribble. Two on one break. Davis has to be careful. Can't pick up that fourth foul. Ross gets it. And a jump ball. Archuleta tied her up. Good call by that official down low. An arrow in favor of the Hornets. 1654 left. Ross will inbound on the baseline. Inbounds right to Jones up and in. Easy bucket right there. Too easy on the inbound. She's got six, and we're tied at 45 with 16.45 left. Jackson Ross with it. Put him in on the right wing. Up her dribble. Baseline, Paul. Three ball. She'll take it. Got it. Keyshell Paul, her third three of the night. Three-point Cougar lead, 48.45 with 16.25 left. Side with it is Weaver. Baseline throws it away. And the Cougars will get it off the foot of Anderson. A little bit sloppy with the basketball there. And the Cougars get it back. 
ending it by three, 48-45. 16 to play here in the ballgame. Cougars trying to start conference play 1-0. This would be a big win to start conference play. Cougars come in with a record of 5-10. and 10. Davis has it out front. Gives it to Keyshell Palmer each. That'll be a whistle and a foul on Erica Lee, her second. Team's second out of bounds to the Cougars. The 16-0-7 left. Wittemann will inbounds. Does to Archuleta. Back to Wittemann. Baseline shot. Rattles in and out. Ball loose. Ross with a rebound. She wants to run quickly. Across with it. Stutter step. Down the lane she goes to the glass. Lays it up. Misses it. Wittemann with a rebound. And Chanel Ross stole it right away and gets it. Wow. She is some kind of quick. The other way we go. Wittemann. Baseline with it. Cougars lead it by one. 48-47. Davis. Thought about the three. Doesn't. Oswald back to Whitteman, open three, right wing, splash, Whitney, Whitteman. Another three, and the Cougars lead it by four, 51-47. Baseline with it is Jones, tipped out of bounds, Cougars. Some substitutions come in, Jackson and Davis will check back in, Cougars. Another lead, 51-47. I'll watch Davis, she's a good... Three-point shooter. She has two already tonight. Ball out front. With it drives in the corner. Open three. Here it comes. Missed by Jackson. Ball is loose on the baseline. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Harris Stowe with 15-16 left to play here in the ballgame. 51-47. Cougars by four. Ross inbounds. Does Davis back to Ross. Baseline with it. Back to Davis. Got to get a hand in her face. She'll launch a deep three. Misses it. Ball loose. Can Archuleta track it down? It'll be loose. They're trying to get a timeout. Ooh, and they get it. Harris Stowe will get a timeout called. 15.05 left. Cougars. Late at 51.47. We got a timeout on the floor. Back after this on Columbia Cougars. .com. The Cougars remind you that a winner always uses a designated driver or volunteers to be one. Be a good sport. Keep our road safe. Always put safe driving at the top of your lineup. A message from the Columbia Cougars, Budweiser, and N.H. Shepherds Distributing Company. You are listening to Columbia Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com. Follow the Cougars all season long by logging on to ColumbiaCougars.com. Get results, highlights, statistics, player information, and all the latest Cougar news. Shop for great Cougar gear at ColumbiaCougars.com. Your voice of Cougar Athletics. Your source for everything you need to know about the Cougars. ColumbiaCougars.com 15.05 left to play here in the ballgame. Cougars lead it by 4, 51-47. Anderson with it. Out of Ross out front. A lot of pressure on her down the lane. Stops, hangs, pops. Will not go, but a whistle and a foul. A she'll go to the line. Good foul on Keyshell Paul. On Keyshell. Team foul here in the second half. Ross, a good free throw shooter. We'll go to the line and shoot two. And the first one by Ross is good. Averaging right around 18, 19 a game is Ross. She's got 15 tonight. Three point away. It is good. She got, got it to go. It's a two point game. Cougars lead it 51 49. Archuleta trapped with it. Now Whitteman, right side with it. Baseline Davis, three ball. She's open, Whitney Davis, missed it short. And Marvis Jackson with a rebound. Ross has got it. Aristo can take the lead with a three this trip, tied up with a two. Out front, Jackson, right side with it, Anderson. Fakes left, goes right to the glass, lays it up and in. Erica Anderson with a good burst of speed. She's got 16, Ross has got 16. And we're tied at 51. On top, Archuleta. On the right side, or left side, rather, Ross with it. Thornsbury checks in, next dead ball. Baseline, Whitteman. Trapped with it. Now out front, throws it away. Whitteman, cross court pass, stolen away by Davis. Leaves it off for Ross. She'll take it to the right wing, and they'll set it up. Davis, right wing, fakes left, drives baseline. Back out, open three ball. Lee, you betcha, wide open. Erica Lee and Harris Stone leads at 
just like that, the lead back to the Hornets. Davis, now baseline Oswald. On top, Davis steps in. Michelle Paul fakes three. On top, guarded by Ross, and a whistle and a foul. Get a reach. Chanel Ross will get a whistle for the hold. Her second team's third. Thornsbury comes in. Weaver and Jones will check in as Davis will check out for Harris Stowe along with Eric Anderson. Trail at 54-51. Ball inbounds underneath the Cougar basket and throws it away. Ball is loose. Lee's got it. Two on one break. She'll pull up. Leaves it for the trailer. Ball is loose. Out of bounds. Cougars get it. So the Cougars catch a break there as they get the ball back. Jessica James will come in for the Cougars with 13-21 left. Cougars 54-51. Trail it by three. The Cougars can get something going here. Archuleta left side. Double team. Wittemann right wing. She'll launch the three for the tie. Too strong. James fights for the rebound, and she tips it out of bounds. She did. So it'll go to Harris Stowe with 13.09 left. Trail it by three, 54-51. Inbounds to Ross. Ross with it quickly. Dumps it off. Lay it up and in. Sherry Jones. Boy, they ran the floor well there and a time on the floor. Mike Davis not happy. 13.01 left. 56-51 Cougars. Down by five. Back after this on ColumbiaCougars.com. Would you like to be able to provide for your family every month, even if you weren't around? That's precisely why Kansas City Life created a monthly benefit rider for universal life coverage. In addition to your policy's lump sum payout, this rider provides extra cash to your loved ones every month, supporting them just as you would if you were still here. Talk to your Kansas City Life agent today about the new monthly benefit rider. everywhere, but you just can't find the perfect bed. Perfect woodworking is your answer. Perfect woodworking can build the perfect custom piece, the perfect cabinet, the perfect bookcase, the perfect entertainment center. Perfect woodworking will build you a custom handmade piece that is exactly what you want. Make it perfect. Perfect woodworking. 573-499-1353. Cougars down five, 56-51. Thornsbury trapped on the side and a whistle and a foul. We'll get a hold. Janelle Ross picks up her third. Team's fourth with 12.49 left. Cougars down five, 56-51. Little inbound right in front of the Cougar bench into Jessica James. She'll turn, looks, gives it right back to... Paul trapped with it. Whitteman right side. James down low. One dribble. Kicks it out. Throws it away. Tried to go to Archuleta. Stolen away. Ross the other way to the glass. Misses it. Ball is loose. Out of bounds. And Harris still will keep it. 33 to play here in the ballgame. Cougars down 5. 56-51. Davis will come back in. Keyshell Paul will grab a breather. Oswald will come in. Archuleta will grab a breather. 51, Cougars down five. Need a stop here. In. At the Ross now back in the corner. Chanel picks it up. And Wittemann with a steal. She comes over the top. Wittemann down the lane. Oh, traveled. Little up and under, and she traveled. She shuffled the feet with 12.23 left. Anderson will check in. As Lee will come out. 12.23 left. 56.51. Harris still with it. Five-point lead. Ross with it is Weaver, guarded by Davis. Takes it to the right wing. Right back off to Anderson, nearly carried it. No call. In the corner, open three ball. Chanel Ross got it. When they spread you out, find the open player in a three, and it's an eight-point Harris Stowe lead, 59-51. Oswald in the corner, Thornsbury. We'll go to the zone here. Wittemann, baseline. Back on top with 
13 on the shot clock. Davis right side. 13, uh, 12. Right side, Thornsbury. Put him in. Steps in. Fires a 14-footer. Floating no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Harris, Stowe, and Weaver. Quickly the other way. Ross, left side, guarded by Thornsbury. Hunter Davis wanted it for a three, didn't get it to her. Ross, left side. Stutter step around Thornsbury to the glass, lays it up, misses it. They fight for the rebound, and Harris Stowe will... Will they keep it? No, it'll go to the Cougars, 11-18 left. Keisha Paul, DeVita Moore will check in. Eleven eighteen left. Cougars. 59-51. Davis will bring it up. Oswald, left side. Out of Davis, down the lane. In the corner, Thornsbury, open three. Missed it. DeVita Moore fights for the rebound and lost it. Had it momentarily. But Anderson ripped it out of there. Left side with it. Three ball on the way. Weaver no good. Oswald with a rebound. Well, that would have been a big three for Harris Stone. But the lead stays under double digits. 59-51. Oswald thought about the three. Traveled. Shuffled the feet. As Davis will check in. 10-51 left. Cougars trail at 59-51. Jackson will grab a breather for Harris Stone. 51 left. Cougars down 8. 59 51. Could use a defensive stop here. As Weaver will bring it up. On the right side to Lee. Now Anderson breaks the 3 down the lane. Right back to Anderson in the corner. Davis, 3 ball blocked out of there by DeVita Moore. And Ross throws it, or Anderson rather, throws it off of Oswald. And Harris still will keep it with 10 on the shot clock. 31 left. Cougars down eight. Inbounds right to Jones. Right back to the inbounder and a foul. They went right back to Anderson and Oswald will pick up the foul. Second. Second. Send Jones to the free throw line. Thrown away by Weaver, rather, is good. The lefty Weaver has six. Coming here, she could get the lead back to 10 for Harris-Stowe. And it's short. Missed it. 60-51. to 51, Harris Stowe by 9. Thornsbury in the corner. Thought about that 3, but doesn't. Lost the dribble out of bounds, and Harris-Stowe will get it. Another turnover for the Cougars. Ross will check back in. 10-18 left. Cougars will apply the full court pressure. Still down by 9. 60-51. to 51. Jackson will check back in for Harris Stowe. 60 to 51. Harris Stowe with a nine point lead. Jackson will inbound to Lee. This is a good Harris Stowe team, nine and six. They've been receiving votes in the top 25 NAIA poll. Ross gets around Paul. She wanted a foul, doesn't get it. Ross, the senior out of Philadelphia. Dribble, fakes down the lane, kicks it off in the corner, open three ball, Davis, open, missed it short, ball up high for the rebound. But Keishill may not be tall at 5'7", but she pulls down a lot of boards. Davis the other way, dumps it to DeVita Moore, Davis fakes three, in the lane we go, and a whistle and a foul. Who's that one on? Janelle Ross, her fourth. Nine forty three left. 60 to 51. It's a nine point Aristotle lead. DeVita Moore, baseline, up, under. Little hook shot won't go. Paul with a weak side board. Keeps it alive to Thornsbury. Steps through. Moore on the block. Up, under, off the glass. Kiss it good. DeVita Moore. Her first bucket of the game. Cuts the lead to seven. 60 to 53. Another way, Erica Anderson with 9.20 to play here in the ballgame. Cougars down seven. Anderson shakes, bakes, dumps it off. Davis, she thought about that three. Cross court pass now, Lee. Down low, Jackson turns, looks in the circle. Anderson down the lane to the glass. Misses the layup. Oswald with the rebound. Cougars down seven, and they could chip away at it here. Davis, cross court pass. Thornsbury drives to the block, lays it up. Missed it. Oh, had a great look, and it just would not go. The other way, Chanel Ross. In the circle, stutter step down the lane. Hangs, fires, roll it good. Chanel Ross. 
18 a game. She's got 21. A lot of substitutions coming next to that ball. In the corner, Thornsbury. On top now, Davis. Down low, Oswald on the block. Takes it in the lane. Little shuffle. Ooh, basket will go, but the foul is before. Eric Anderson for a hold. Her third. Sixth, Wittemann and Archuleta will check back in. Cougars down nine, 62-53. They'll stay in with those four fouls. Cougars will in by underneath their own basket. They'll be in the bonus next foul. Has Archuleta in the lane. Little floating hook shot. Really good, Megan Archuleta. What a game she's having. She's got 20. But quick outlet to Jones all alone, lays it up, misses it, but a foul. See who that one's on. I believe it's on Whitney Whitteman. It is. Whitney will pick up the foul. Her first of the night. She's third, and that'll send Jones to the line to shoot two with 8.25 left. Harris still leads it by seven. Five left. First free throw is short. Jones. Another one coming. 8.25 left. Free throw is rolling good. The Jones gets one out of two. 63.55. Eight-point Harris still lead. Davis will bring it up. Winterman on the right side. Comes baseline with it. Now brings it back out Archuleta. Shot clock under 20. Archuleta. Free throw line back to Davis. Down low Winterman. Open. Eight-footer baseline. Missed it. Ball loose. Keyshell ball will track it down. Back to Davis, down the lane, drops it off. No whistle, the other way we go. Ross has got it on a block, lays it up, counted in the fouls. Whitney Whitteman pushed her. 7.58 left, gets the lead back to 10. Whitteman will pick up her second. Still a team foul. 55 10 point lead. Still, as Ross will try to complete the three-point play. Throw is missed, and Archuleta with a rebound. Well, it's a ten-point lead for Harris Stowe with 7.52 left. 65-55. The other way. Davis, stutter step right side. Hands it off to Whitteman. Back to Davis. Up past Keyshell Paul. Ball is loose on the floor, and a jump. Arrow in favor of the Cougars with 7.37 left. Ross will grab a breather with those four fouls. Anderson will replace her. Stay out long. Ten point Harris still lead. Whitteman will inbound, does to Oswald. Trapped within whistle and a foul. We can leave for a foul. Her third. 7.36 left. So that'll put the Cougars in the bonus as Oswald will go to the line. Free throws here with 7.36 left. Cougars down 10. Not been to the line yet tonight. First one is no good. 4% on the year. Up by Oswald is good. 65-56. Cougars down 9. Anderson the other way with it. Trap gets it back, steps through, and we'll get a push on the Cougars. Michelle Paul will pick up her second foul, team's fifth. Cougars trapping hard on that far side. 7.26 left. Cougars down nine, 65 56. Inbounds. Lost it. Davis has got it the other way. Two on one. Bounce pass. Keyshell Paul. Pull up off the glass. You betcha. Keyshell Paul. 65-58, down seven. Now the Cougars, they need a stop here. 7-13 left. Weaver will bring it across. Guarded by Davis out front. Takes it to the right side, looking for the backdoor cut. To Anderson, back out. Three ball on the way deep. No good by Lee. Would have been with a rebound, lost it, and a hole. That'll be a foul on Anderson. Her fourth will go the other way. And shoot one and one with 6.57 left to play. Good work by the Cougars. Boxing out down there, crashing the boards. Whitney Whitteman, one out of two at the line tonight, 76% on the year. 
needs to make these. Sixty-five, fifty-eight. First one by Whitney is good. Another one coming, and Ross with those four fouls will check back in with six fifty-seven left. Is Jackson will grab a breather. Wooderman can make this free throw here. She get the lead down to five. Seven left. Free throw would have been missed it short. So Whitney gets one out of two. Ross will bring it up with 6.50 to play. Cougars down six. 65-59. Good one. In the conference opener here tonight, Ross steps through the double team. Down low with it is Jones. Cross court pass. Anderson. Running with it. Anderson lost in the lane. Oswald tips it right into the hands of Whitney Whitman. She'll look around, make sure no one can steal it, and the other way we go. Lob pass, Keyshell Paul on a block, up, off the glass, missed it. Oswald with a put back up and in. Rachel Oswald and a timeout on the floor. 6.24 left to play here in the ball game. Cougars down just 4, 65-61. Back after this, ColumbiaCougars.com. There are plenty of ways to get from point A to point B. Van, sedan, sports car, muscle car, pickup. And Shelter Insurance has covered plenty of miles in cars and drivers since 1946 with a combination of competitive rates, helpful agents, and speedy claim service. Truth is, we like knowing we have you covered, so you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today at shelterinsurance.com. Have you checked out the Cougars in person? Experience Cougar action up close and personal. What an event. Making your experience at Cougar event special are many people, including the Sunrise Optimist. The Cougar Athletic Department would like to thank the Sunrise Optimist Club for managing concessions and ticket operations at Columbia College. Optimist clubs across North America conduct over 55,000 community and youth-oriented projects directly impacting 5 million youngsters annually. The Cougars and the Optimist, a real winning combination. 65-61. Tipped out of bounds, and the Cougars will have their stow get it back here with 6.14 left to play. 65-61, four-point lead for Harris Stowe. And the basketball, Ross, with those four fouls. Guarded by Whitteman. On the shot clock. Here comes the screen, Ross. Fakes the three, has it, wanted to roll with it. Pull up eight-footer in the lane, roll it short. Paul fights for the rebound. Somehow, Weaver comes away with it. Her putback will not go, but a whistle and a foul. Boy, how Jones, rather, got in there and got that rebound tough. Archuleta will pick up the foul, her first. Big foul on the Cougars. Jones to the line. One out of two tonight. First free throw. Is no good. Another one coming for Jones. 58 left. The next one. And it's short. Missed them both. So the Cougars get a break. 65-61, 5.54 left. Cougars down four, and Davis throws it away. Try to go down low, it's picked off. Ross the other way. Down the lane, a whistle and a foul and count it. Davis got a piece of her. Chanel Ross lays it right up and in. Straining there for the Cougars as Davis throws it away, and then Ross converts it into an easy layup. Hornsbury will check in. Davis will come out. She's got her fourth with... 544 left. 67 61 the lead. To the line. Two out of three at the line tonight, according to my unofficial tallies. We got that one. 68 61. 542 left. Put him in the other way. Archuleta. Left side. Every possession gets more critical now. Thornsbury out top with the basketball. Swing it to Paul on the left wing. Takes it into the lane. Kick it out. Whitteman open three. Got it, Whitney Whitteman. Big three there. Her fourth of the night. She's got 16. And the lead for Harris still is four. 68-64. Up with it is Weaver. To the left side guarded by Thornsbury. They feed it down low to Jones. Double teamed and whistle and foul. Keyshell Paul got a piece of her. That'll be her third, and that will put Harris Stowe in the one-and-one -one opportunity here, the bonus. Davis will check back in as Lee will check out. 
nine left to play. Cougars down four, 68-64. Just missed two, only one out of four to line tonight. Free throw coming. Missed it. She missed the front end, and the Cougars here could give it in one with a three. Archuleta. Stop with it. Now dribbles. Top of the free throw line. Would have been three ball, right wing. Missed it off the mark. Rebound by Jones. Ball is loose on the floor. Can the Cougars tie it up? No, but Oswald will fight and find it. Ball in the lane. Lost it momentarily. And now Jones has it. Quick outlet to Chanel Ross. She's all alone. Will they foul her? No. And she'll miss the layup as Whitteman got the board. Ball is still loose on the floor. And a travel. Traveling violation on Anderson. And it'll go back to the Cougars with 4.37 left. And the Cougars down 4. 68-64. 37 left to play here in the ballgame. Whitteman will bring it up. Whitteman, Archuleta, Thornsbury, Paul, and Oswald, the five on the floor for the Cougars. Whitteman on top with it. Takes it down to the left wing. Picks up her dribble. Trapped with it. Now Oswald, baseline, drives in the lane, dumps it off. Thornsbury, 10 on the shot clock. Paul left side. Now to Whitteman. Now low Oswald on the block, steps through on the glass. Misses it. Thornsbury with a weak side board. She missed it. Archuleta fights for it. And a whistle and a travel. Who's going to get it? The Cougars will get it with 4.06 left. It'll be Columbia basketball on the traveling violation. Cougars will keep it. Ball will inbound. Does to Archuleta. Double team. Trapped with it. Needs to get rid of it. Does to Whitteman. Hot top Thornsbury. Oswald baseline. Plenty of time as they had a new shot clock. Archuleta wants it down low, can't get it. Ball, right wing, double team, back to Oswald. 13-12, Thornsbury on the block, in the lane, little turnaround scoop shot, roll it good. Nacy Thornsbury's got four, averaging five a game, and the lead is two for Harris Stone. 68-66, Ross down the lane, and a whistle and a foul. Beyond Whitteman, third. So Ross back to the free throw line. We'll shoot some free throws here. This one by Ross is good. One time out on the floor. Got a timeout, 69-66, Cougars down three. Back after this, ClumbiaCougars.com. Cougar fans are the best fans around. So when you're at the game, please act and drink responsibly. You'll be joining 93% of college sports fans who say their behavior is responsible when it comes to tailgating and respecting other fans. The Cougars encourage you to be a good sport. Designate a driver before you celebrate. It's part of every winning game plan. A message from your friends at Columbia College, N.A. Shepherd's Distributing Company, and Budweiser, who remind you, responsibility matters. Back here at it, Cougars down three, 69-66. One more free throw coming for... Now Ross, she keeps it a four-point game with 3.34 left here. Next to the line. Dribbles, free throw up, and roll it no good. So Ross gets one out of two. It stays a three-point game, 69-66. Pull that out front. Now Thornsbury left wing. Cougars down three, 69-66. With it now, Archuleta in the circle down the lane. Little scoop shot, roll it good. Archuleta, what a game she's had tonight 22 points. It's a one point game 69 68 with three minutes to play. Weaver out front, guarded by Thornsbury on the right wing. With it is Lee, shot clock at 15. Baseline Jones all alone down low is Weaver 10 now 9 on the shot clock out front. With it is Lee. 
Steps in the lane. Left-handed with five with four. Ross gets it down the lane. Floating shot won't go. Archuleta with a rebound. Boy, Ross thought she got fouled. I'm not sure Paul didn't get away with the reach. But the Cougars will take it. They can grab the lead this trip. Wooderman out of Archuleta. Back to Whitney on the right side. They feed it to Oswald. Down on the block against Jackson. Backs her up. Little scoop up and under. Too hard off the glass. Paul fights for the rebound. It's loose, and Ross will come away with it. And Ross will slow it down with 2.15 left to play. Cougars trail it by one, 69-68. Ross will have it on the left wing. Holds it high. Now low to Jones against Archuleta. Turns, looks, eight on the shot clock. And Whitman gets in and gets a steal. Got a hand on it, poked it away. Cougars get it back with a buck 55 left. Cougars have two timeouts left. Both teams in the bonus. Archuleta out to Thornsbury. Thornsbury right side of Whitman. A three for the lead. Off the mark, and Paul goes over the back for the foul. And that will be her fourth, so we'll go the other way and shoot free throws. A double bonus, so two of them coming. One forty-two left to play here in the ballgame. 69 68. To the line. She struggled at the line tonight. First free throw is good. Davis will check in. Thornsbury will check out. 142 left. Cougars down two, 70 to 68. One coming here for Jones. Free throw on the way. Is good. She got them both. Two big free throws for Jones. 71-68. It's a three-point lead for Harris Stowe. Whitman right side. Jackson doing a nice job of fronting Oswald down low there. Archuleta gets it. Baseline. Now to Oswald in the corner. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Game clock at a buck twenty-five. Oswald out front picks it up. Right side Davis. Out to Archuleta. Thought about the three. Doesn't. Now Davis gets it right side. Seven, six. Davis throws it away. Lob pass again. Stolen away. Ross the other end. Lays it up and in. Chanel Ross. Davis with a lob pass, just lazy there. And the turnover gives it back to Harris still. They lead it by five. Cougars have it. Archuleta, one minute left. One minute left. Cougars down five. Oswald, baseline, gives it to Archuleta. And we got a push before. No basket. That will be on Jones, her second. Thornsbury will come in as Whitney Davis will check out with 54 seconds left. Big free throws here for Archuleta. Archuleta on the way is good. Archuleta gets the first one to go, makes it 79-63. See if Archuleta can get the next one to go. She could get it down to a one-possession game. Free throw on the way is good. So Archuleta gets them both. Time out on the floor. Cougars down three. 54 seconds left. Back after this. If you bought your life insurance policy 20 or 30 years ago, it probably never occurred to you that you might actually outlive its coverage. But people are living longer, healthier lives than ever before. That's why Kansas City Life Insurance created Life Pro 120. It's universal life coverage that continues for as long as you live. Ask your Kansas City Life agent about Life Pro 120 today. We're Kansas City Life. It's style. You want it fast? Or brand new used car? Cut us a style just for you. Get in, get out. Get style, no doubt. That's what Cutters cut us is all about. For hair that rocks when you're on a roll, there's only one place you need to go. Cost Cutters. They fit your lifestyle. Cost Cutters. No appointment necessary. Open every day, weekdays till 8. Jeff City, Moberly, and three Columbia locations. Cost cut. 54 seconds left. Cougars down 3, 73 70. Both teams in the double bonus. Harris Stowe basketball, full length of the floor to go. Anderson will have it. Guarded by Oswald. Ross will come in the backcourt and get it. She'll bring it up. 18 on the shot clock. Guarded by a Whitman out front. 
Let's see if the Cougars can get that all-important defensive stop. Whitteman out front. Ross gets around her in the lane. Stops. Pops. Floating shot. Won't go. Paul with a rebound. Lost it out of bounds. It'll go to Harris Stone. 29 seconds left. Shot clock will go off. Big rebound there by Harris Stowe. Inbound to Jones. Cougars are going to have to foul. That's the person to foul right there. Ross will get it. She'll get fouled by Oswald. Not the person you want to foul with 24 seconds left. Probably their best free throw shooter will go to the line here and shoot a couple. Both teams in the double bonus. 73-70. Cougars down by three. And Ross who has 29 points, will get a couple here. This one away by Ross is no good. She missed the first one. Did she miss again and keep it a one-possession game? Let me find out. To the line, Ross, the senior out of Philadelphia. Free throw, got it. So Ross gets one out of two. Two-possession game, 74-70. Cougar's going to have to hurry. Would have been across. Archuleta, left side, in the corner, Thornsbury, drives. Dumps it off. Oswald, baseline shot. Got it in timeout. So Oswald will get the two-pointer to go with 14 seconds left. Two-point game and a quick timeout on the floor. Back after this. Don't think it's a big deal to purchase alcohol for a minor. Then you're not thinking. It's irresponsible and illegal. So if you get a shoulder tap to buy alcohol for minors, turn the other shoulder and walk away. A message from Anheuser-Busch, N.H. Shepherd's Distributing Company, and the Columbia Cougars. Reminding you to prevent, don't provide alcohol to minors. Here at it, Cougars trail it 74 72. With the Harris Stowe basketball, they have the full length of the floor to go. Harris Stowe looking for their 10th win of the year. Came into this one 9 and 6. And we'll see what the Cougars can do here. They're down to 74 72. They're going to have to foul if they can't get a steal. Davis has four. Here comes the inbound. It's into Davis. Double team. And there's the foul. As Oswald had to foul. 2.4 left. Oswald will pick up the foul. Her third. And that will send Jones to the line. Have a three out of seven. If she makes them both at the two possession game. If she makes just one, a three can tie it up. First free throw, double bonus coming. First one is good. Jones hits the first one. And this is the big one right here because it's a three-point game now. If she makes this one, it's going to be two possession. Free throw all the way by Jones. Missed it. Missed it. Cougars got a chance with eight, with seven. Here comes Whitney Davis. Gives it to Whitney Winneman with four, with three. Davis in the corner, going to have to shoot it with two, with one, a three. Off the board and will not go. And the Cougars trail and lose it by three. Big, big shot there at the end. As Whitney Winneman gave it to Whitney Davis, and the Cougars lose it by three, 75 to 72 in the first conference game of the year here tonight. Seesaw battle. These teams went back and forth, back and forth, and the Cougars fall just short here in the conference opener. 75 72. Had a chance there. Trailed by three. One possession game with 10 seconds left. Davis, pretty tough shot there. Had a couple of hands right in her face. Got the shot off, off the glass, and just a little bit short as the Cougars fall. 75 72. That will drop them to 5-11 and 11 on the year. 0-1 oh, in conference play. Harris still picks up their 10th win of the year. They improved the 1-0 and oh in conference play. Big win for them on the road as they start conference play. 1-0. and oh. We'll wait for the final statistics and hopefully catch up with Coach Davis. You're listening to Cougar Basketball on ColumbiaCougars.com. Are you one of these kinds of dads? When the kids came along, did you promise yourself, I never want to look back? and wish I'd spend less time at the office? Then you should get to know Shelter Insurance. We're here to help people who plan their lives around their families by offering life insurance that's built for your needs. Life insurance that's right for you and right for the people who depend on you. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today. Thanks for calling 
Bambinos. Holy cow! Hi, everybody. Hey, Harry. Sam, look at my place to find me a frosty cold one this evening. Well, then you got to get down here to Bambinos and abuse your noodle. Abuse my noodle? Why? Sounds like a weekend I had at Kalamazoo, Michigan one. No, Harry. At Bambinos, abuse your noodle means you can get ice cold schooners of beer with our daily happy hour special and our late night Bud Light draft beer specials for a ridiculous price. Harry, just get down here to Bambino. We've got big plates of pasta, big schooners of beer, and sports on our big screen TV. Bambino? Oh, shut up already, you happy scooter. Just tell me where you're at. Bambino's Italian Cafe in downtown at Hit and Locust, or you can call us back for carryout or delivery at 443 4473. Come on, my way. Bye, Harry. Back here at Columbia College, Arena of the Southwell Complex. Cougars fall just a bit short. 7572 joining us now Cougar head coach Mike Davis and coach want a seesaw battle here tonight two teams uh, very good a quick pace and uh, a lead by nine a lead by nine by them and you uh, kind of what we expected in the first game up and down the floor we went uh, no it wasn't Jeff we gave the ball to them you know uh, sometimes you got to realize what color jersey you're wearing they're an outstanding team they're very well coached they play hard but you know what when you throw the ball to them it's not hard to catch and uh, it's not even a football it's not even an oblong it's a round and we just continually threw the ball to them and then put yourself in the spot where you're chasing them up and down the court, get a foul on the three-point play, and we did that over and over and over. Kind of a frustrating night on that end. I thought you guys had your legs a lot more back tonight uh, and pretty sharp uh, getting up and down the floor. And uh, that's Chanel Ross. We talked about her in the pregame show. She's kind of a squirmy gal. She can find some teams sometimes. She's a good player. She's a handful, you know. And uh, uh, like I say, she can catch a ball if you throw it to her. And uh, we did that over and over. And then she's a great finisher in the open court. You know, you put her in front of you, you can guard her, but you put her in the open court, she's a handful. I thought we saw a few flashes tonight of what Keyshell Ball can bring to this ball club. She can really get up and get some boards, and, and really when you needed some big ones tonight, she was able to find her way through and get you some big boards. Didn't win a ball game, though. Right. You know? Didn't win a ball game, and, uh, you know, that's how you measure ball, uh, ball players. At the end of the year, you know, the team that wins the conference, they've got the most valuable player in the conference, and I don't care what, what level you're at, uh, you know, great players win ball games, and, and we didn't get that done. Well, we thank you for taking the time to join us tonight. We'll see you Saturday afternoon when you head to Missouri Baptist for a 2 o'clock game. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. His ball club a little bit short tonight, 75-72, the final tonight, as Columbia loses by three. Cougars turn it over 24 times, leading the way. Megan Archuleta had 24, 16 for Whitney Wittemann. Michelle Paul had 15, 11 for Rachel Oswald. Two for Davida Moore and four for Nacy Thornsbury. As the Cougars shoot 45% for the game, seven of 20 for 35% from three, seven of 11 at the free throw line. Harris Stowe shoots 44%. Chanel Ross, 30 points, 16 for Erica Anderson, 12 for Sherry Jones, eight for Davis, Weaver had six and three for Erica Lee. One of the differences tonight we talk about rebounding. As Harris still out rebounded the Cougars, 42-37. But really the big story for the Cougars, turnovers. 24 turnovers. And Harris still really able to capitalize on a lot of those turnovers. And that was really the difference. Points off of turnovers. Harris still 33 points off of turnovers. And anytime you're giving up 33 points off of those turnovers, it's going to be tough to win the ball game. Cougars still had a chance there late with a three by Whitney Davis. Just a bit short. And the Cougars fall and lose it here tonight, 75-72. Well, that will wrap up our broadcast for you here tonight. Again, we want to invite you to listen to the men's game. That'll be a Thursday night contest, 7 o'clock, as they take on Harris Stowe. Tex Little with the play-by-play -play action beginning at 6.45 with the pregame show. And a reminder, the next ladies' game will be on Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock, as we'll hit the road in St. Louis, taking on the Lady Spartans of Missouri Baptist. I'm Jeff Johnson. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks for listening to Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com.